Our world is marked by geopolitical turbulence, unpredictability, and uncertainty. The tectonic plates of the world order are shifting beneath our feet, and the structures that are built upon them are fracturing. War has broken in Europe, in Africa, and in the Middle East, each bringing a new cycle of death and destruction. We find ourselves amidst an international security crisis. We are now facing increasing complex modern challenges, climate change, artificial intelligence, political polarization, irregular migration, and deepen inequality. More than ever, our international institutions are being tested. The stability that has safeguarded us all is now being challenged by those who say, seek to change the rule of the games, undermined by those who believe they can break them without consequence. The current world order is also being questioned by people and nations, mainly from the South, who challenge whether the rules reflect their reality and benefit their people. Some have expressed concerns over double standards or whether the current institutions and their decisions meet their needs or are fair. We see an increasing boldness from bad actors who believe they can tip the scales of power with the weight of their might. These countries and non-state actors seek to reshape the very rules that has kept us safe. And the tools they're using are not limited to the battlefield. Many actors now wield sophisticated and often covert tactics to shift the world order in their favor. And they're doing so at a time where global issues have local impact here at home. Crisis in the Middle East has sparked fear in our communities. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has cost thousands of lives and spiked the price of our gas and groceries. Climate change filled our summer skies with smoke. And rising global inflations make it feel increasingly hard to get by, let alone get ahead. What is unfolding in Gaza is also a human tragedy. The humanitarian situation facing the Palestinian people, facing Palestinian women and children in particular, is dire. And extremist settlers' attacks continue in the West Bank and must stop. Like all states, of course, Israel has a right to defend itself against terrorist attacks. It has an obligation to do so in accordance with international law. For even in crisis, there are principles. And even in war, there are rules. We must be guided by human dignity in all civilians, Israeli and Palestinians, for they are equal, must be protected. At this point, Canada mourns seven dead. We are still searching for two who could be held hostage. 400 Canadians are trapped in Gaza. They are living in fear and despair. And as a government, we have a duty to bring them to safety. And that is why we need humanitarian pauses, a humanitarian truce in Gaza.